Hello everyone, I'm Christine from Health Yourself. I'm a certified health coach and a wellness chef. Now today I want to chat to you about breakfasts. Now the winter season is coming along and we want something a little bit more filling, a little bit more comforting and nourishing in the morning. So I want to chat to you about having amazing little oat jars. These are fantastic because they can be made in advance and they last about three or four days in your fridge. So I'm going to show you. You get little glass jars like this. And there are also these which are fantastic as well. So you get your little glass jar and we're going to fill them up. I'll show you exactly how to make them. Everybody in the family can make their own um, because we all like different things. So the first one we're going to make is called Zotes. Now I know that sounds really weird, but it's adding zucchini into your oats. Now why do we want to do that? Basically we want to add a lot more nutrient dense foods, we want to add a lot more fibre into our diet, so this is quite fun, alright? The next thing we're going to add is almond milk or you can do coconut milk, whatever you prefer. You can also do yoghurt if you'd prefer. You want to make sure that your oats are nicely covered, okay, so you can see that. You can put a little bit of maple syrup in too. I wouldn't put honey in at this particular point um, because what happens is the oats actually get sucked in by the honey and it doesn't quite work really well. You can put a touch of vanilla in as well. Now I like chocolate so we're going to add, this is going to be a little bit of a chocolate oats, okay. So I've got a little bit of raw cacao here. We're going to add just a teaspoon of that. Also great for those happy hormones. I'm also going to put just a little bit of chai seeds in too, added protein and fiber, and a few little flax seeds. We're just going to mix that all up, all right, as you can see. And it needs to be quite liquidy, okay. And then we pop the lid on and we just leave that in the fridge like that. And that can seriously sit for three or four days and it'll be absolutely fine. Right, the next one I'm going to do is a carrot cake one. So we've got our oats in our bowl. We are then going to put grated carrots. Now I'm getting lots of vitamin A here, a lot of fiber, a um, lot of micronutrients. Then I'm going to put some nut butters in. So here are my oats and my carrots and now I'm going to put some nut butter in. I've got some almond butter in here and I'm going to put a little bit of cashew nut butter. So you already know how delicious this is going to be. Nice big spoon. So this is going to boost my energy levels. It's great for my um, brain health. Really, really good for my digestive system as well. Right, the next thing we are going to do is we're going to just crush a few little um, pecan nuts in as well. You know, you can't have um, carrot cake without a few pecan nuts. A little bit of coconut. There we go. Right, I'm going to pop my almond milk in. Again, you can use almond, coconut, whatever you prefer. There we go. Then you need a little dash of cinnamon and if you've got some nutmeg, maybe some nutmeg as well. So a little dash of cinnamon and a drop of maple syrup. There we go. Beautiful. Then you can give it a nice little stir. Make sure that the oats are all covered in um, the milk. How does that look? How does that look? So amazing. You let that sit. And what's so nice is these oats, you can either have them hot or cold. You can basically just pop them into a little pan in the morning if you want to heat them up or into the microwave, whatever you prefer. Okay, now the next one. This is a great one for the family and for kids. Um, children particularly like this because it's made with a little bit, we've put yogurt with it. So I've got my oats again. I've got some lovely thick um, full fat yogurt here because this is what my children need at this particular time. What I'm going to do for this one is I'm just going to grate a little bit of apple. Um, you're going to get your sweetness from the apple and apple is also packed with a lot of fibre. I'm going to pop some apple on there. Then I'm also going to put um, some raspberries in as well. There we go. And you can pop some chai seeds too. I'm going to put a few little sunflower seeds in too, a little bit of a crunch and more Amigas. And then instead of using the almond milk this time, I'm going to use just some normal regular milk. Mix it up. There we go. But you know what I suggest is that 
you try out new things. You know, everybody is going to have their favorite. So get your children to participate with it. Let them to add their own little things and come up with their own special little recipes. All right, so lastly, I just wanted to show you. Here I soaked the oats overnight. I just soaked it with a little bit of vanilla and some milk. Um, as you can see, as I empty it here, it is lovely and thick now, you see? So now I'm just gonna do my toppings. So we're gonna use a lovely banana, a bit of a decoration here for you to see. And what's nice is if you do it like this, then you can heat it up quite nicely. I'm gonna pop a few nuts on top. I do like to chew a little bit, you know? Um, so nuts are great. A couple of pumpkin seeds and sunflower seeds as well and then just a little bit of seasonal fruit. Now, you know, figs are in season, have things that are in season. You know, so important to eat seasonal foods because that is what your body needs at that particular time. So a couple of seasonal foods, fruits, there we go. And we'll just decorate it with a pretty little flower. How is that? Everybody will want to eat this in the morning for breakfast because um, it just looks so inviting. So come up with your own recipes. Let's see what you can do. That is it from me, Christine Phillips. Stay healthy and stay safe.